back. We are still on the topic of education statistics and today we will be discussing the performance of the education system. So if you want to look at the performance of the education system and its output, well you first need to look at the input. So if we look at our entire population of about 50 million people in South Africa, 37% of that population is actually theoretically supposed to participate in the education system. So I would recommend if we want to look at that, we look at the three primary areas of education that affect our future. And that would be primary, secondary and tertiary education. So let's take a closer look at primary education. In the primary education sector, the people that are supposed to be participating in the system forms part of 15% of our current population. However, only 87% of the individuals that are supposed to be participating in the education system is currently enrolled. And when you look at the performance, in the end, only 89% of the people actually complete the primary education. However, if you start looking at secondary education, the secondary education sector forms part of 10% of our population today. But of that 10%, only 67% of the people that are supposed to be participates is enrolling in the secondary education. And of that 67%, only 44% actually completes. So we have a huge dropout right here, and this is starting to be become quite concerning. However, if we start looking at the tertiary education sector, you will see that 12% of our current population is supposed to be, or let's say is in the theoretical age range, to participate in the tertiary education system. However, only 14% is currently participating. And the thing that starts to be shocking is the fact that of that 14%, only 17% actually completes the tertiary education with a tertiary degree. Now, that is basically where we link it to last week's video where we said the future is in the hands of that 17%, which is 1.8% of the people that originally entered the education system. And that is a mere approximately 120,000 individuals. Now, well, the main question that we need to be asking is why is people not participating in the education system? Now, according to the general household survey, there's a couple of reasons where the main three reasons are the lack of money or insufficient funds. Basically, second one, that education is absolutely useless. And thirdly, illness. Now, the fact that people feel that there is insufficient funds is 32% of the reason. And the fact that they think education is useless forms 15% part of the reason and illness 10%. So I would say basically, in order to address this problem, we need to, one, educate better so that people don't think it is useless, and second of all, we need more funds in order to ensure that we provide better education and that people can actually overcome this barrier of entry. So at this moment, if we look at a summary of this, the performance of our education system at this moment is adequate at best. But the question is, is the performance of our education system currently sufficient to supply in the demand of our country? Now that we will look at in our next video. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.